Recently, I released an update for my operating system from scratch where I added this cool window manager that adds all kinds of um, you know, new capabilities to the system where before it was very monotasking. Now we can run many things at once. And um, I was very happy when um, uh, Nick, he's a Serenum user, uh, ported his, well, he made a new version of his color picker program that I'd seen before, but he added some new things to it. And then he asked me, Sam, how do I create a, um, a window program? This is actually my modified version of his color picker program. The original is this one here that runs an exclusive full screen mode where you enter and then you can tweak these things uh, and so on. And then it's, it works very similar to the Pong that comes pre-installed, right? We had this game, it also runs in exclusive full screen mode. Um, as such, and you, you can go in and out, but it's it's fundamentally, it's not being composed by the window manager. Um, yeah, so he wanted to make a windowed version, and that's easy to understand why. Uh, because, you know, if I'm, if I have this full screen, then if I've, you know, once I select my color, and now I want to copy that hex value out, well, I can't see it. If I, um, I'm somewhere else, I have to close it. But now, because it's windowed, you know, I can go into my program here or look at it. Um, there's still, um, I haven't modified this program so that the, um, so that the bits get centered from the new window size. I'm going to let him do that. And then I suspect he'll make a video about, or at least I would encourage him to make a video about uh, covering it in more detail and how you can install it on your Serenum system uh, so that it appears in the run menu here. But I thought I'd just go through briefly the changes in the code um, that enable this change. So the old um, like API uh, for doing this graphics, the noob library, the old noob library, is this guy down here in the serene base where you'd call setup graphics and then you call start frame and end frame and in between those statements you can put a number of draw statements a draw commands uh, like the rectangle the rectangle actually being the only one so far but you could easily add your own ones here um, and I mean, if you compare this to anything else uh, for sort of starting to do graphical programming, this is really good. Now, it's not windowed, but we'll see what I did about that. So the new lib, you'll actually, you know, it, it'll be bundled with the next release of the operating system. But for now, you're going to have to down download it from the Discord. So it's called Noob Window, and uh, you know it does what you could expect. It's trying to emulate um, that other API. Now there's this warning on here saying, you know, do not make games with this. And the reason why this is here is because it's so much easier when you're in exclusive full screen mode. There's nothing else running on the machine essentially, so you have the entire CPU at your disposal. And there's no compositing or anything happening. And that just makes it so much easier from a performance perspective. I've had to pull, perform many miracles. Um, I don't mean that in a heretical sense, but just um, I've had to do some very difficult uh, engineering in order to get the window manager to run as fast as it does. And then... Well, you have to interact with that if you want to run quickly uh, as a windowed program, which you can do, but it's more difficult. Anyway, so the API is similar. First, we call window setup, takes no arguments. 
and then um, we'll actually look at this inside uh, Nick's code here. Oh, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go through these. We have uh, window setup, um, window frame ready, which you can do to poll if sort of a frame is ready to be rendered. Start frame, end frame, and then get key. Um, the cool thing about running in windowed mode is that you get key repeat for free. So key repeat is built into uh, this guy because it's actually the window that uh, the window manager does the key repeating, and then you just receive that for free. Yeah. You can differentiate though between um, you yeah, the pressed byte what is zero for a release, one for pressed, and two for um for repeated keys presses so if you want you can just mask off that first bit to detect uh only presses now so the one difference here that's important is that from new from start frame we um we get this uh, noob frame back, and then we also get this bit field. Okay, and the bit field is a set of dirty bits, and this allows you to tell the window manager, hey, only this part of my window is different compared to the previous frame, so you don't need to update the other things. Um, by default, I set these to everything has changed every frame. So if you just want to get started, you just don't worry about this. But you will, this has a multi return value now, so you have to pay attention to that. Um, now let's see. So we'll open this. Um, yeah, I've made some modifications to Nick's code here, just, um, but you guys probably don't know what the previous code was, so we'll just stick to the changes here. You know, before we did noob graphics setup one, because we got to pick video mode before, now we just do noob window setup. Here, it's basically the same, you know, get key, get key, uh, except now we get key repeat on this guy. We then have here where we just start frame. Before we just called start frame. Now we call noob windows start frame, and we get these dirty bits I was talking about. I've I, I've um, named them with an underscore here to show that I'm not using them. But um, you can, um, if you were being ambitious, you would go and and start to play with these to improve performance. And then we just have a an end frame here at the bottom, which submits the frame you started rendering here. Um, as you can see, there's nothing to do with window size here, which I need to, I will add this before I publish this on the Discord. Um, but that will probably be just a, um, another call you'd say, um, you know, like width and height. In a multi return. And then do um, your noob window get size. This is actually buffered based on when you render. So after you do start render, this size will be locked in. So you want to query it, you want to start the frame, and then query the size uh, in order for it to be frame perfect. Anyway, that's all basically for me. Uh, you know, you can check out Serenum at uh, samhsmith.com slash Serenum. There'll be a link in the description. Maybe I should get the text here. That's the, oh, whoops. This is the project page. Um, and then also, 
you can buy a Serenum system if you want, a Tabernadon shop. But uh, I will belabor the point no more. Um, I if you if you go to the website sandwichbits.com slash serenum you can then join the discord and in there I will have posted this library so that you too can create a windowed program like um, like this windowed color picker that probably shows it off best this windowed color picker. All right, have a nice evening. Goodbye.